here at the Lincoln Fight Factory. We have 17 well-matched belts that I'm looking at tonight, proudly presented by Sean Burton at the Lincoln Fight Factory. Let's welcome our official from ringside, our doctor, Dr. Julian, our referee, Michael Gray, our judges, Jane Whittington, Sean Smith, Ryan Edmondson, and our timekeeper, Keith Robinson. Give him all a round of applause, please. Our first round of evenings, K1 rules kickboxing over three two-minute rounds. Firstly, boxing out of the blue corner from Cleveland kickboxing, Harry Watson. Of amateur K1, Harry Watson, Cleveland kickboxing in the blue, David Yanikowski, Lincoln Fight Factory in the red. Well, with Ron in the blue corner and Sean in the red, you've got two great coaches from two great clubs, veterans of the game and real gentlemen. Watson looking to take centre ring. The blue shorts. Yanikowski responds. Hard, hurtful exchanges early. Now Yanikowski pushes forward. Inside leg kick. Yanikowski works it again. Watson stays in the pocket though. Forced to give ground now. Inside leg kick from Yanikowski, Watson responds, stays centre, throws the jab cross, high round kick, Yanikowski responds with the front push kick, Watson focus, centre ring, doubles up the shot but Yanikowski pushes forward, checks the kick Watson, good start from both young men, as I said with Cleveland kickboxing and Lincoln Fight Factory, two great camps, two great coaches, veterans of this sport earned their reputations both men nice work there from Harry Watson Yanikowski with a big lead leg roundhouse Watson little inside leg kick nice round kick Yanikowski good matchmaking here from Sean never gives his guys easy bouts Lincoln Fight Factory never get it easy had the privilege of commentating on many of Sean's bouts and he came up the hard way, always in a scrap, always bored a crowd because he was so entertaining and he came up the hard way and he's bringing his team up the same way. So for me, Harry edging this opening round because he stayed in the centre, as I say that, a beautiful right hand from David Yanikowski. So very little between them across this opening round. Harry Watson tried to retain centre, but David Yanikowski was busy as well, and he had the last word with that right hand right at the end of round one. Round two. Round two of three. And Yanikowski, he may be backing up constantly. But he's very busy. Good counter striker, good on the back foot. And as you saw there with that rear leg round kick to the lead leg of Watson. Powerful as well. Watson stalking, but it's Janikowski throwing at the moment. Joe Peter Lee in the corner there, Janikowski. 
one of my favourite up and coming young fighters. Always a joy to watch him box as well. Nice exchange, both young men. As I said, two great camps, and they're giving us a really good opening bout. Very technical. Good engines for both young men. It's been a good pace and a very close opener this. A little shimmy there from Janikowski. Watson probing with the right and left, straight through the channel. Looks for the left knee and then as soon as it's done, Mike says he's got to release. Strike and release. Oh, there's the right hand danger for Watson from Janikowski. Throws straight through the channel, landed twice now. Watson, for his, to his credit, took it strongly, took it well. No change in demeanour. All business, these two. Nice little inside leg kick. That's said, Janikowski is subtle. He gives ground, but keeps working. So although Watson is the front foot boxer, Janikowski works well off that rear leg. A little fate there with the jab for that right hand, Janikowski. Inside leg kick as Watson comes forward. Watson pours out that jab and again has to take the right hand from Janikowski. Nice lateral movement, stop the follow-up. And this is a very good opening bout. Nicely matched. Two down, one to go. And as I said, while Watson takes centre ring, Janikowski is deceptive in the amount of work he does. This is a good, close contest. The third and final round. So they touch gloves, and there's still everything to box for here. Watson again retains centering, but look how busy Janikowski is. Gives ground to suddenly push forward, almost luring you in here. Look, 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 and then waits for Watson to make his move and responds instantly. I call it. Preemptive countering. Where you lure the person on, they think they're going to strike, and then you strike first. And Janikowski's really good at that. But these are two talented young men early in their career. And you've got to say a big career ahead for both of them, should they choose it. And this one has bubbled nicely all the way through. Watson again pushing forward. Throws the round kick. Janikowski with his own push kick. A little inside leg kick, Janikowski, but Matthews and Watson stands his ground this time. And good left hand from Harry Watson. Retains that centre ring, steps away from Janikowski's round kick. Disguising the right there, or trying to with that left, the way he just uses it as a lure almost, then throws the right as you saw there. Tactic used more and more. Where the left is a distraction rather than an intentional jab. You wave it forward, that's a proper jab, but you use it as a distraction to set up the right, and they both exchange punches again, nearing the end of this bout, and it's very close indeed. As I said, great matchmaking from Sean Burton. Janikowski takes it on the counter.